In this tutorial, you will learn two ways of adding a second axis to an existing XY graph. First, we will show adding a linear axis, and then next, we will show adding a nonlinear second axis. In method one, we start with an existing XY graph and then double click on the x-axis to bring up the axis dialog. On the title and format tab, we can add an axis title. Next, we choose to add the major tick labels, and we can convert those labels by a factor. The origin convention is to divide by that factor. You can set the decimal places, as you notice the full precision tick labels run into one another. And now we have nicely spaced tick labels at the top as well. Switching over to the grid lines tab, you can now show grid lines on the graph. And notice that the tick labels at the top and bottom and the ticks themselves are in alignment. The second method will add a nonlinear second axis in the same layer. To do this, we go to the layer management dialog. Layer management has a convenient preview window for you to see your changes as you make them. Going to the Axes tab, we'll expand the top node because we wish to add a top axis. We can enter a formula to relate the ticks on the top axis to those on the bottom axis. The ticks in this arrangement have a one-to-one -one relationship with one another, and they're related by the formula that you enter in the box. We can additionally display other axes, such as the right Y, on the same tab of layer management. The Y axes are now unlinked, but they could be linked if desired. Pressing OK applies those changes to our graph. If we now double click on the top X axis, we again bring up the axis dialog. Wherein we can add a title once again. Clicking Apply shows the title on the graph. And notice that the first tick label should not be shown because it shows a missing value because we have divided by zero. 
That can be done from the Custom Tick Labels tab. We can again add vertical grid lines or horizontal grid lines. In this case, we'll only add vertical. It's important to note in this case of only a single layer, it's not possible to have the tick positions be in different places. To do that, you'll need a second layer, as we will show in the following section. And that leads us to method three, where we add a nonlinear second axis to a linked layer. Again, we open layer management. Select the Add tab to add a new layer. We have several different options for types of layers to add to our graph. In this case, we will add a top X and linked Y layer. This will correspond to the previous graph we made. They will be comparable except for the axis type at the top. So we've now created a reciprocal type of axis to complement the linear axis on the bottom. Pressing OK applies the change, the addition of the new layer. And now we can link those axes, again using the same formula as before, to demonstrate the difference between using one layer and two. Double-click to go into Plot Details and select our new layer that we've added. In the Link Axis Scales tab, we'll select Custom to add a custom relationship or a functional relationship between the axes. The top axis currently appears askew, and we'll fix that by bringing up the axis dialog and changing some parameters. First, we'll change the axis scale. For the bottom axis, now we will close the frame by adding an opposite line in the Y dimension. Now we bring the axis dialog back up, this time to modify the top axis itself. Again, we'll add an axis title, changing the default to whatever text you'd like. Additionally, we have the option of rotating the tick labels themselves, which we can do on the Custom Tick Labels tab. Notice their vertical orientation. Again, we'll turn on vertical grid lines, and this will make clear that the tick marks on the top are now in a different and but related uh, 
location on the on their respective axes. So the only way to get different tick locations is to use this two-layer method. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.